In our continuing effort to separate fact from fiction, we turn to the story of a woman who had her identity hijacked. She was turned into a fake blogger, and that caused very real trouble. Here's Carter Evans. That is the most recent one. That's the Ms. World Crown. Meet Laura Hunter, photographer, beauty queen, and as for politics... I would lean a bit more to the liberal side. So it might seem Laura Hunter was living a secret double life. Far-right blogger, anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant, and very pro-Trump. This looks like you. It's, that's a picture of me. That's my name. Are these your beliefs? No. It's bigoted. It's racist. I'm not, I'm not those things. You wouldn't write anything like no, that? No, never. But fake Laura Hunter has, since August, attracted nearly a million followers on Facebook through a site called the Conservative Daily Post. I started Googling my name. And wow. <laughs> Fake Laura even had a made up bio living with her dog in eastern Tennessee. But real Laura is a professional photographer in Seattle. She's filed a $50,000 lawsuit against those behind the site whose business address is a post office box. Have you heard anything from them? No, nothing at all. Neither did we after we reached out. But since the filing, Laura's picture has become an avatar. And something bizarre happened. Fake Laura's fans got angry at real Laura. They think I'm the fake. They think you're impersonating someone else. Yes, yes. They just go ballistic and how dare you and Laura Hunter's a wonderful woman and you're just trying to ride her coattails. Fake news sites can generate thousands of dollars in ad revenue but operate in the shadows. Laura isn't sure she'll receive damages. She just wants to restore her damaged reputation. It's very simple. If you can't confirm something, don't post it. Carter Evans, CBS News, Seattle.